Hello everybody and welcome to another Unity 3 tutorial. Uh, so today we're actually going to be doing some level design and an explanation for the reason why I haven't done videos recently on anything Unity tutorials or any other kind of video like gaming or something like that or even Yorkscar videos. Uh, because I've been a bit busy, I've been working on Yorkscar, I've been looking, we've been doing some networking stuff while I have uh, and so is Robo been doing more of my stuff um, if you follow that project. If not, um, then be sure to look in the description below or look on the channel and you'll see some of the stuff and you might actually like the game. Uh, planning an alpha release yeah, this August. Anyway, um, so yes, uh, school's out soon anyway, so I'll be should be a couple of tutorials a week. Uh, but anyway, um, so in this uh, episode, uh, what you're going to probably want to do is for this particular level design, I would recommend uh, to you've probably got the terrain in that in your current scene. Uh, if you want to keep your terrain, that's fine. Uh, but to create another level, but keeping this, if you haven't already ma made a prefab out of it, which is obviously just uh, dragging it into the assets folder, I should just call this player for now, uh, and it also containing, there you go, player. Uh, you can actually literally just say file, save scene as, and then save it to your scene folder, and then literally then you can, it'll over, it won't overwrite anything, it'll create a new scene, and obviously you should have a different name up there, depending on what, you just call it level 1 or something, I called this episode something because I go back episodes in case I have to uh, redo something or I have to check something for someone who may have got something wrong in the code or something. Uh, but yeah, so just delete your terrain in the water if you've added that, and any other objects you probably have, so create a refresh level, but just with the player in. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a game object, which you can see up here in the game object window. Uh, we're going to drag it. Uh, actually, no. If I just delete this one. Uh, if you go to the player and press F, uh, go to game object uh, and create the cube. This will create it uh, in the center of the player. I'm going to set the scale value over here to 0 0.1 for the Y, and the X and the Z to be 5, and it should give us a nice little um, sort of floor here. We just see what this does. Yeah, that's good. We can sort of jump in this, obviously. We can still shoot. <laughs> Nothing changes there. That's good. Right, okay. So that's giving us a good old little floor. Uh, so, what we can actually do is we can use this website I've just looked at, actually. Uh, it's called get opengameart.org. Uh, and I've currently gone to the floors texture because I want a floor texture for this particular uh, level I'm planning on doing for this uh, little tutorial. Now, if we click on this. You can cut, you can literally download some textures. Um, it seems to be safe, for, so there's no virus in that because it literally comes up as this. So you can literally right click, save image as, and then you save it. Uh, so that's my thumbnails folder. Uh, save it to wherever you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to YouTube series when I find it. Here we go. Assets, um, and then there we go. It's called Rusty Tiles. I go into here and it should appear just here and I can drag it on there we go there's, there's the floor texture now I'm I'm kinda thinking the scale's a bit too much so I'm just gonna set this to probably about 5 by 5 uh, actually no maybe maybe 3 by 3 yeah 3 by 3 looks good and then these textures are tiled as well so you can drag this on you can create a few tiled textures uh, I'm gonna create like a a small base here or something I don't know um, also, uh, one thing I kind of had an idea of is, in future episodes or something, would you like me you me to show you guys um, some simple vehicle tutorials and stuff like that, where you can get in and out of vehicles? Because I'd love to make a sort of this little FPS project uh, where you can drive vehicles. And uh, if you've forgotten how I'm uh, getting these corners and that I'm placing the property, you can do Control C V and press V, and you go to the corners, um, and that's how you do that. Now I'm going to put this one over here just to fill some of this area out and then we'll have sort of a corridor going down here uh, there we go that looks okay yeah there we go good uh, so I'm just going to create sort of a small level here which we can actually use in the future to test um, AI and that so we'll probably create this and then if I just oh it's a bit too high uh, one more should do it there we go. And then we'll just have one. Actually, no, we won't have this one. Because it looks like this sort of Y shape. Uh, basically, to create a wall or whatever, what you can actually do is copy paste two. Or you, you can actually copy and paste sort of all the walls on one side. And then rotate them 90 degrees. You can do up here. Select them, press the V button. And then the sort of 
set them however you want to. Now we need a wall text, so let's go back to this this website, opengameart.org. Uh, let's look for, so if I click on, uh, is there any wall text here? Ground, ceilings, brick and stone, here we go, our buildings. This is what we want. Um, so we can look at this, now that just gives pictures of buildings. Brick and stone, um, actually it's a concrete. There is indeed concrete. Um, is it a sandyish concrete? That'll do. Right, okay. I found one. If I just save this, save image as, and it should appear just here. There we go. Uh, and then there we go, sort of a, a nice looking texture. Now I'm gonna, we do have this uh, directional light here, but I'm gonna show you as quickly, I think some of the lighting to make it a little bit better. So we're gonna create other, we're gonna create a. Uh, point light, which creates a, a light in an area. It's normally good for doing sort of ceiling lights and that. So we need sort of do a ceiling as well. So well, actually, what we can do to do a ceiling is uh, click on all of these. There we go. Uh, this isn't the best. I would like to sort of note this isn't the best way for doing levels. I probably will, I'll probably do some level tutorials in Blender and that. But this is the way that it's just a simple way to, to um, make walls and floors and sort of just a simple sort of few small cubes level. Um, but a proper sort of building or whatever, like with a bunch of other objects as well, you're gonna want to um, do in a proper 3D modeling software only because it's gonna be very uh, intense on the computers. I did Lunar Dare before and I created a whole dungeon from cubes. Let's just say it's not good to use um, about a thousand cubes, so you're going to really want to limit it to how many you use. I mean, even though we've got these ones flat, it still is the same as a cube that's probably one by one or something like that. So for, uh, for now, I recommend don't really doing too much in terms of um, the floors uh, or the overuse of cubes. Just make a small level for now, and in a future tutorial, I will show you how to... Um, other things. Now I'm, going, I'm actually going to put a, an elevator here, and I'm going to leave it for an elevator script. Um, might make like a Left 4 Dead style sort of thing, maybe like a little zombie AI thing. So we might turn this into like a hotel or something. We'll have a, uh, an elevator here. Um, I'm just going to fill it for now, and then we actually have. I wonder if we can get a little door texture. So I set this to be not zero there, this way, and then I drag that to there. And then this we can get a door texture, da -ba -da. Or, or like a window or something. Door, anything like for door equipment. Uh, so is there a search? Oh, there's a search door. Here we go. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can actually see what I'm looking at. <coughs> uh, -ba -da -ba -da. That's a wooden door. We got like a a modern door. So there is that. Ha. Um. There isn't really anything, is there? Uh, there's a basement door there. Um, there's a sci fi door, a weather door. It's medieval. Actually, let's go back to that first one and we'll, uh, we'll download this one. This one should be good. Oh, door textures. There we go. Photographs of several doors. Uh, we'll just all go with. Oh, this one looks good. Sign door. That's too realistic. <laughs> Go to the brown door. Dip -a -dip. Save image as brown door. Go to here. See so it's brown door. And then oh my god. Ah. Which round should it be? It should be rotated this way. So rotate it uh so it's this way around and then what we can do is I'm actually gonna put this to two point five here because I want two doors. Now yes the scale it actually yeah the scale's a bit too too much. So we if we scale this to the player quick. Um, that's good. So we actually want to probably scale. How many doors would fit this? Four doors maybe. I want to make this as so five divided by four is. 1.25. So we'll make all these. We'll make the width. 1.5, and make the height about 2.5, and that way we'll have equivalent to about four of these. So I actually delete this one here. 
so yeah, we'll have the about four of these, and then oh no, not that. There we go. Put that one there. Oh, why is it? They come forward sometimes with this uh, control or holding the V. There we go. Uh, so actually, these two can then be turned back into wall textures. This one can be rotated. Oh, it flips upside down. It's not the best. Uh, there we go. Just uh, invert its um, x value to minus two point five. There we go. That way it looks like that, and then the rest of it should also be about. Oh, I don't want to go into that view. Not into the two D view. Not the best idea. Then we do that, and then we set this to be five, and then we get to here. And there we are. And yes, it does look like it's uh, got a bit of a scaling issue. So we uh, tell you what, we c we can literally also just do do this. We can do the five uh, here as well, and that way it's all good. And then we have these doors, which obviously the player won't be able to go through. But let's see what it looks like. I have noticed a wall that's not brilliant. There we are. Oh yeah, this one's also out of the world, or whatever. But it looks it's starting to come together, uh, which is good. Uh, so we just bring this forward. Um, what? And then there's also this one that's not in the right place. And I do it these two. That's one thing you got to watch. It is sometimes they uh, do this. Uh, actually, I like. I kind of like it um, being before these doors. So the doors are actually sort of in it, sort of in a way indented. There we go. It looks more <laughs> looks more three D, even though it already is kind of three D. Uh, and then we can add more walls and stuff here if we want to in just a moment. Um, but for now, that kind of should be a basic thing for you. So what you can probably do is whatever design you've got, fill it out with walls, and then I will probably release a tutorial probably tomorrow uh, where we'll be looking into doing a little, a simple lift where it can go up and down, um, and then we can do a top level as well. But yeah, actually, what you can do is you can design. Uh, this level, which obviously have the ceiling here, and then what to, what you should do for the, the next floor over, so you can have multiple textures, do this or something, so you have your cube here, but make another one that will sit on top, which you can then put another texture on, so I could, I could do this. Otherwise, you'll end up, um, your ceiling texture, and that won't be brilliant. Uh, I think there is, you, with UV mapping and stuff like that, if you use a, a program like Blender, you can obviously then UV map a cube to be obviously two different textures, like on this side it can be carpet and on this side it can be ceiling texture. But do that for now, uh, put doors wherever you want, or you could even like do an office building or something like that, like in Left 4 Dead. Because um, I, I, I think I might want to do zombies, I don't know, tell me what you guys want. I can do zombies and um, sort of enemy soldiers or whatever, it's pretty much in a way the same part from zombies will come over to you with a melee attack and obviously soldiers and that will be arranged. So I can do both. We can do ranged and also melee, but uh, for demonstration I'll probably do like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, terrorists and, and zombies or something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know, or people, or crazy people, <laughs> I don't know. But that should probably be enough for this episode. That should give you a basic insight into how to do simple level design. It's not the best, it's also simple lighting here. You can obviously change the color, you can have it red, you can have it we have a green. Oh, actually, I like the blue. I like the little blue color here. We could have some kind of cold. Can we have it red? We have it many colors. A lot of colors actually kind of work with this kind of. I kind of like that actually. Sort of a a more. It's like a blue slash green. Well, see, it does sort of show here. I think it's an effect. I can't remember what out, uh, program Outlast was made in, but it's a similar effect to what they used um, for the camera. Um, the lighting kind of any lighting in the game was actually green. It wasn't properly white. I think a lot there were quite a few things obviously white light, but there was a lot of it that was actually you don't really see it, but it is quite green. And that then works with the uh, camera stuff. I don't know, whatever. They use a lot of effects which I can't really explain, um, or I can in more detail in another video, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. That's our tutorial all done and whatever. So get on with that if you want to. It's it's whatever you can do, create a level using cubes. Basically this is just a way to say, hey, you do realize you can make levels uh, with very simple stuff that's already built in. So just do this, put walls and floors everywhere, you know how to do all the rotation stuff and the scaling things. You can make stairs if you want to somewhere, that's only a case of obviously getting this and sort of 
changing the scale probably you want it to about 0 0.8 or something and then sort of layering them or whatever but yes thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode coming very soon hopefully because the weekend bye